I can report you to all. Yeah. Unless you pay us. Colonial is a game that it's built around a classic theme, which is um, expansion, discovery, colonization. Um, that's a game where five historical nations all try to um, be they begin at a point before colonization is happening and they uh, they try to go out and claim land and establish colonies trade goods and things like that and i am playing as the netherlands um i just bumped up my economy to six and everybody else is at the starter level except france france is at four and so with my economy at six i can explore china and or india uh, Portugal's already in China, but they can't get to opium or tea, and I can. It can get fairly complicated. Some of these games are, are pretty procedurally complicated, so the strategic options before players are myriad, and they can be rather complex. Am I going to focus a strategy on conflict and war? Am I going to think about trade? Am I going to think about building up some part of my society? I dismantled Spain's One. navy. Lit. with no losses. Um, so I'm I think we didn't understand the true power of Britain's Navy in this scenario. France is just in the game right now, so now I actually have to start thinking about what I'm going to do instead of just shipping other people's goods. What we're doing is not so much thinking about um, what we can learn from the games. It's not that, the, that playing the game is going to teach us. It's subjecting the game to the same kind of critical scrutiny that we would subject any other historical argument to.